PayPal is a payments company. Uh, we uh, became independent last year. Uh, previously, eBay and PayPal were together, as uh, most likely everyone knows. So what we have today in PayPal, in terms of infrastructure, we have a private cloud, OpenStack-based, and uh, you know, 100,000 plus VMs, uh, 500,000 plus cores. So it's a pretty extensive private cloud that we operate uh, within PayPal. And 100% uh, of our web-tier and mid-tier applications and services are deployed and run in this private cloud. You know, we realize that our vision and, and what we want to do achieve long term in terms of the data center modernization and what uh, was required in our architectural blueprint, that fit very well with what Docker was providing in terms of uh, you know, the whole concept of Docker engine and the capabilities and the products that the Docker has added in the last, I would say, two, three quarters. PayPal being a very security conscious company, um, it's absolutely important for us that uh, the, the uh, you know, all kinds of uh, binaries and artifacts, whether it's source code or, or uh, application binaries, uh, we have those um, uh, within our premises. Uh, for the very simple reason that we, our security teams run ongoing scans and then we of course sign the, the code before we deploy. So we have all these checks and balances in place and hence we wanted uh, an enterprise grade uh, trust registry and DTI product uh, actually um, sounded very promising first time when we started working with the Docker teams. So we have deployed um, the CS uh, version of Docker engine we have a Docker Trust Registry. Uh, we have these two deployed. Uh, we are using Compose as well. So you know, some of the things that Docker provides, uh, the, the granular control, the, the smaller footprint, uh, the overhead, right? So those things are very attractive for us, right? Because that not only means that we can uh, spin up uh, a new VM or a new application instance much more quickly, as and when needed, uh, whether it's then we are rolling out a new application instance or we have to patch an application, existing application, or we just have to add capacity for holiday readiness or for some other reason. We are able to do those things much more quickly. So that's a huge benefit of, uh, of Docker.